If you live in the Philippines or follow volcanic activity around the world, this is the moment to pay attention, guys, because there is something brewing, not only underneath one volcano, two volcanoes, but three volcanoes in the Philippines. So right now, deep beneath the surface, something is shifting there. So over the last few days, earthquake swarms have struck with increasing intensity beneath the Bulusan volcano, the Kanlaon volcano, and the Tal volcano, three of the country's most volatile volcanoes. Guys, welcome. I hope you will like this video. Stay with me. It's going to be very, very interesting. The ground is moving there. Gases are rising and pressure is building up. The scientists fear this could be a sign of imminent explosive eruptions. Three at a time, as if one wasn't enough for the Philippines. So this is quite extraordinary that we have three guys acting up and the warning signs are not subtle. There's tremors, there's ash plumes, there's sulfur clouds, and there's ground inflation, there's land rising. So we will break down exactly what is happening, why this is so dangerous and what could happen next. That is very important. All three volcanoes are located on, at the Philippine Mobile Belt. So the Philippines itself is situated within the Philippine Mobile Belt. This is a complex tectonic zone where the Eurasian Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate converge. So this region is therefore characterized by multiple subduction zones, including the Manila Trench to the west and the Philippine Trench to the east. So within this belt, we have also numerous micro plates and crustal blocks that are undergoing significant deformation due to this tectonic activity. And we know where there's tectonic activity, there is also volcanic activity. So this dynamic environment is responsible for the country's frequent earthquakes and the presence of these multiple active, active volcanoes, including the three guys that are causing us sweat and trouble right now, Bulusan, Kanlaon, and Tal. This Philippine mobile belt, it is a tectonic battleground, but you have to imagine that this thing is constantly reshaping the islands through this subduction process, the uplift process, the volcanism process, and the faulting process. This is why the Philippines is one of the most geologically dynamic and dangerous places on Earth. Tal, Bulusan, and Kanlaon are all three of them are part of the Philippine volcanic arc. There's another one more guy that is part of that arc as well, that is Mayon, but also many more volcanoes. They experience frequent earthquakes there, magnitude seven plus quakes near Luzon, Mindanao, and Visayas. Active fault lines, including the dangerous Philippine fault zone that runs nearly the entire length of the country. So that is quite a geological footprint, unfortunately. And as I mentioned, there's two subduction zones. Because of this dual subduction, the Philippine mobile belt is basically crushed between these two belts. It's torn apart and compressed. It's forming fault systems and these volcanic chains and the also deep ocean trenches as well. The Philippines are basically smack in the middle of opposing forces because this Philippine mobile belt is a subduction zone, but is a collision zone as well between major tectonic plates to the west, the Eurasian plate subducting beneath the Philippines along the Manila Trench and the Sulu Trench to the east, the Philippine Sea Plate is subducting beneath the Philippines along the Philippine Trench and the East Luzon Trough. So not ideal for a quiet and peaceful life. The three volcanoes that we're talking about today, they're not very close to each other. Each one is located on a different major island. 
in the Philippines, Bulusan in southeastern Luzon, Tal in southern Luzon, and Canlaon on Negros Island in the central Visayas. But they're seismically active because of the same tectonic system. That's the Philippine Mobile Belt. But of course, they're not part of the same volcanic complex. So the distance from Bulusan to Tal is roughly 350 miles, that's 560 kilometers. Bulusan to Kanlaon, 230 miles, that's roughly 370 kilometers. Kanlaon to Tal, 260 miles, that's 420 kilometers. Do you notice something, guys? I'm really trying to be more persistent to give you miles and kilometers because I know I have some viewers in Europe and in metric countries, but I have a lot of viewers that are used to miles and can't really do much with meters. I'm always saying if you do one step, that's a meter basically. Let's start with the Bulusan volcano that has a surge and seismic activity. It's located in the Sozogon province in the southeastern part of the Luzon Island. And unfortunately, Bulusan volcano has exhibited a notable increase in seismic events, in earthquakes. And we know what that means if you follow my channel. So on May 4th, 2025, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has reported 127 volcanic earthquakes within a 24-hour period. That is quite significant, guys. So this uptick is significant also if you compare it to the previous days, where 68 and 66 earthquakes were recorded on May 3rd and May 2nd. So that's already an increase and that's already something where we would think, huh, what's happening? So what the scientists are suggesting that the nature of these earthquakes shows us that there is movement of hydrothermal fluids beneath the volcano. So that could lead to phreatic or steam driven eruptions. And those guys are not good. We know that from the past. So recent data, however, indicates also, a dramatic increase in sulfur dioxide emissions. So it has gone up from 30 tons per day that was measured on April 29th to, and now guess this, guys, and this is really significant, to 548 tons on April 30th, and then to a staggering 1,600 tons on May 1st. So April 29th, 30 tons per day, and May 1st, 1,600 tons per day. So that volcano is telling us something. So this search definitely suggests the presence of fresh magma, fresh magma, because this is so significant. And that might tell us that the recent eruptions that we have seen at this volcano may not have been purely phreatic. They're still leaving Bulusan at alert level one currently, so that's a low level unrest, but the public is advised to avoid a danger zone that they have set like a four kilometer danger zone due to the possibility of sudden eruptions without a warning. So, this is one guy, but there is a second guy, Kanlon Volcano. He had recent eruptions and ongoing unrest. I have reported about this guy previously. The Kanlon Volcano is located on the Negros Island in the central Philippines. That's the Visayas region. And it has been under very close observation following a moderately explosive eruption that has just happened on April 8th, 2025. But still, that eruption has produced a 4,000 meter high volume of high plume and pyroclastic density currents that descended the southern slopes of the volcano and have caused fires that has ignited the vegetation and wildfires were raging. And in the days prior leading up to that eruption, the 
Philippine Volcano Observatory has recorded increased sulfur dioxide emissions averaging 2,707 tons per day on April 30th, so significantly higher than the usual levels at this volcano. And plus, the ground deformation data also indicated inflation of the volcano, suggesting that there is a magma intrusion happening underneath the volcano. So as of Right now, Kanlon remains also at alert level one, but the recent, the recent activity definitely urges people for the need for vigilance. Residents are reminded to stay outside the four kilometer permanent danger zone. This is a permanent zone due to the potential for sudden hazardous eruptions. And then the Tal volcano also persistent earthquakes and gas emissions. Tal Volcano is located in the Batangas province on the southern part of Luzon Island. And that guy definitely exhibits continuous signs of unrest. And just on May 5th, it has shown 71 volcanic earthquakes, including 11 of these earthquakes lasting one or even two minutes. So very, very long lasting quakes. That is unusual. So that's why these tremors are indicative of magmatic activity beneath the Tal volcano for sure. But additionally, also here, sulfur dioxide emissions remain elevated and that also contributes to the formation of volcanic smog or VOG, it's called, in the surrounding areas. So in addition to that, also the ground deformations show a short-term inflation of the southeastern flank of the Tal Volcano Island. That further supports the theory that magma is present, fresh magma is present and intruding. Also here, Tal is currently at alert level one, but the ongoing earthquakes and these gas emissions and the land rise also cause continuous monitoring there. Again, residents are advised to stay informed and adhere to safety guidelines issued by authorities. So really guys, if we see the whole activity from a seismic perspective, the Philippines is experiencing considerable turbulence today because three volcanoes are experiencing at the same times increased earthquake activity and are gearing up to produce explosive eruptions at the same time. And the people have already been rattled. Bulusan, for example, had already produced two powerful explosions last week, has prompted evacuations, has caused ash to fall on local communities and disrupting life. So guys, we have to stay on this. Let's see what happens in the coming days. I hope you found that interesting. Subscribe like this video and share it with your friends and also check out the videos in the end screen there's very interesting stuff that i have just released but you should always look at my channel start page under videos because there's all the videos in the end screen i can only put four and you can only click one so you're always missing three so go to my channel page there you also see a playlist for members only you become a supporting member of the channel so you get some exclusive videos for that or you can buy me coffees on my buy me a coffee site all the links are in the description of this video you can click the join button and of course thank you for the supers that you're sending me here on youtube your support means the world to me and it helps so much guys stay safe be prepared i see you very soon bye bye